When you go to fill up your car, what do you buy? Premium or regular gas? With an array of options at the pump, many people are left wondering whether to go for the lower octane regular gas or spend a little extra dough and upgrade to the higher octane premium gas. But what is the difference between premium and regular gas and is it worth paying a little extra when you go to fill up your tank? When you hear the word premium, we tend to associate it with something being better. In this case, the general assumption being that using premium over regular fuel means better gas mileage, a reduction in emissions and an increase in performance. The truth to the matter is that most cars on the road today only need regular gas, with around 70% of cars on US roads only requiring regular gas. Firstly, to avoid confusion in the comments, gas around the world is usually sold in quite different octane ratings. In the US, regular is 87 AKI, and premium is usually 91 to 93 AKI. Here in New Zealand, our numbers range from 91 RON being regular, and 95 RON being premium, however 98 RON is also quite popular. Different countries use different measurement methods, with the research octane number being calculated through running fuel in a single cylinder engine running at 600 RPM. Motor octane number, on the other hand, is tested at running an engine at 900 RPM but with a preheated fuel mixture and variable ignition timing. RON basically simulates acceleration behaviour, while MON is similar to driving a car on the highway. The anti-knocking index, which I mentioned next to US gas numbers, is calculated through averaging RON and MON, which is why if you are in the USA, you might tend to see R plus M over 2 on the fuel pump, this merely meaning RON plus MON averaged. So what does the octane rating mean, and why does premium fuel have a higher octane level in the first place? The octane rating of gas is measuring how resistant fuel is to pre-ignition and detonation. This means an octane rating of 100 means that the fuel has the same resistance to igniting as 224 TMP, and an octane rating of 90 means that the fuel burns similar to a 90 to 10 mixture of both 224 TMP and N-heptane. You can get octane ratings higher than 100 because you can get gas which is more difficult to ignite than octane, which is merely used for reference. Higher octanes can allow the use for higher compression ratios. The compression ratio in an engine represents the ratio of volume in the combustion chamber from its largest to smallest capacity, meaning that higher compression ratios allow the engine to extract more mechanical energy from the air-fuel mixture due to higher thermal efficiency. With power being limited by the maximum amount of air-fuel mixture which can be jammed into the combustion chamber, high-performance engines operate with high compression ratios, which in turn means they are more likely to suffer from detonation. In a bid to compensate for this, they need to have high-octane fuel to have more of a resistance to burning. Because of this, it has been a common misconception from most car drivers that a high-octane or so-called premium fuel means better performance, mostly because if sports cars are using high-octane fuel, it must be because it gives you more power but it is only because of the correlation between the compression ratio and the corresponding octane requirements. Some gas companies do however use high energy density per volume blends in their higher octane fuel blends of fuel, which may give you a slight nudge of power, but this slight nudge has nothing to do with the higher octane rating. The octane level of fuel which you put in your car can affect your gas mileage, but not in the way most people tend to think. Most cars will have an octane rating which has been recommended for your car, and filling your car up with gas which is less than what is recommended can cause your engine to knock and retard the ignition timing to compensate for this. Igniting later than normal after compression wastes burn time, increases the likelihood of blowing the engine, and produces less power, which is what will occur if you use regular fuel in an engine designed for premium fuel. In fact, the 2017 Mazda CX-9, which recommends premium fuel, outputs 250 horsepower when using premium, compared to 227 when using regular, with a reduction in timing being due to the engine's electronic systems adjusting the ignition timing to avoid potential engine knock. So how does this work the other way around? Does putting premium fuel in a regular car have any benefits? The short answer is no. All you are doing is wasting money. The only difference is that it is less combustible and will usually cost you 20 to 30 cents more, with American drivers wasting $2.1 billion a year by putting premium fuel into cars which only really need regular gas. You get no increase in fuel economy, horsepower, or a reduction in emissions, just a reduction in your pocket. So what it comes down to is that it is a good idea to get your car handbook out or research on the internet what level of octane your engine needs so you don't help contribute to the billions of dollars being wasted each year. You could end up voiding your warranty by picking the wrong fuel at the pump, which isn't much fun for anyone. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.